What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel or if you guys are new here, hello, I'm Keaton. So today's video is going to be a day in the life. I just wanted to bring you guys along a daily vlog. I promise the week in my life are going to be coming back. I just felt like I know some of you like a little bit of shorter videos and things like that. So I was like, let me just daily vlog. I don't even think I have much planned today, but I'm already up and I've made my coffee. Look at this cute little mug I have. I think it's from Urban Outfitters. So I'm up, it's about 9 a.m. right now. I woke up like 30 or so minutes ago and I'm about to start doing my five minute journal. I love starting my days with this because I just love like starting my mornings and day with gratitude, which is basically what this journal is. It asks you like all these different questions, how to make your day great, things that would make your day great. I really love this journal. I will link everything from this video, by the way, in the description of it. So if you guys see anything in this video that you guys really like, I promise I will try and link all of it for you guys. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna do my five minute journal. And today I don't have much planned except for kind of filming, hanging around the house, cleaning up. I really wanna style some pieces, I think maybe today. And I would love to make some good dinner today. So just a very, very chill Saturday. I wanted to just kind of take this time on Saturday to do my work, but kind of slow it down. I feel like normally I'm like speeding through and trying to get so much done in one day, but I woke up at like 8.30 which was really nice and I'm just kind of having this slow morning sipping my coffee doing my five-minute journal I FaceTimed Nat I FaceTimed Brandon so we're having a good morning thank you guys so much for coming on this channel watching my videos if you guys want to don't forget to subscribe down below and you guys can follow me on Instagram and TikTok I used to say Twitter but I really don't get on Twitter as much anymore so you guys can follow me on Instagram and TikTok I always post over there I keep up to date with you guys so much on stories and Instagram and all that kind of stuff so thank you guys for watching. I think I need to make a little bit of breakfast. I bet you guys can't guess what I'm gonna make. I bet you guys just, you guys don't even know. A bagel, <laughs> look at this bagel, guys. It is just so beautiful. I know, I eat a bagel every single day. If some bagel brand or Philadelphia, Philadelphia cream cheese wants to sponsor me, thank you so much. These look kind of like boobs, but. Okay, I am gonna start making this a thing. Hashtag C-O-T-D, like outfit of the day, but it's gonna be candle of the day because I love my candles so much. This one smells bomb. It's from Anthropology. I don't know, I'll link it down below. And it has my little initials on here. You can get them with your initials, however you want. But this one smells so freaking good. So I just lit a candle. I love to light them in the morning and just have them burning like all throughout the day. I'm in my designated spot. I always do my makeup in. And I was watching Laura Lee's video video yesterday and she was doing her full like office where she cleaned out all of her makeup and all that kind of stuff and she reorganized and yesterday when I was getting my makeup I was gonna say getting my makeup done when I was doing my own makeup um, I was like you know what I have so much product in here that is expired and I just keep it in here because I'm just like oh like maybe one day I'll use it and I don't I just I know I don't so I was thinking I am going to do a little bit of a makeup organization today and I'm going to clean out all of this 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 is the makeup drawer that I have. So this is actually from Ikea and I painted it. Well, actually, no, I did not paint this. My mom painted this. I don't know why it's going in and out of focus. So here we are. This is the makeup drawer. I have all of them separated. So I have like all of my primers, setting sprays, I've got foundations, mascara, concealer, blush, all this stuff. So basically it's all separated in its own individual containers, but there's so much stuff in here, you guys, that is like expired, which I often don't throw out. Like I, if like powder, like highlighters or whatever are expired, I don't normally get rid of those. But a lot of the liquid stuff, like old foundation, like, help me um but like old concealer so much other stuff is like really bad like i would not put it on my face so i'm thinking to go through this and reorganize and just kind of switch all this stuff up and then i have some other makeup up here that i'm gonna set into this i had to move the camera angle i realized how much you guys couldn't see so anyway now i'm gonna go through blushes all of these blushes are new so i know i'm gonna keep these these are literally like brand new blushes that I just got but a few of them a few of them are really old oh my gosh this color pop guys I haven't worn color pop in years this is a beautiful beautiful palette I feel like I could give this to someone but it's just not for me what else is back here oh my gosh wow these are so old there's not a lot of reasoning as to why I keep half of these things but I just feel compelled to keep them. This 
highly blush is oh my gosh it's everything this is one of my faves like i will not get rid of this until i literally hit pan on that because it's so gorgeous this is gorgeous like these two colors i always combine them and i love them so much Now we are going to get into highlighters and we have eyeliners right here and all that kind of stuff. I don't normally, like I said, get rid of a lot of highlighters, but there are definitely some in here that when I did my last clean out, I kept because I said, I'll use them, I swear, and I've never used any of them. So I think it's time to get rid of this. Yeah, these just are not, these are all super, super old. These are so expired. Um, but I just kept them because I felt like I needed to. I'm pretty sure this might be champagne pop. I feel like I should move some of these highlighters closer up because I feel like the reason I don't use them is because I don't see them as much. So if I move everything up to where it just kind of fits in here. As for eyeliners, these are all pencil eyeliners. I don't ever feel the need to get rid of those. I only ever feel the need to get rid of the liquid liners just because I know some of these are dried out and dusty. This is my eyebrow section and there's so much brow product in here that I literally don't use. I use the same brow pencil every single day so it's just pretty unnecessary for me to even keep all of this stuff in here. This is 12 years old. This freaking 24 hour brow setter by Benefit. That's 12 years old for sure. Let's put all of these. Let's take everything out. Does anyone remember when we were like all using pomade and like having our eyebrows look like slugs? Like, does anyone remember that? Because that was a that was a time. That was like a moment that I don't know why we let that happen. Clear and cover concealer. Not in my oh, oh, this is why I can't lay the highlighters upright because they don't fit. Oh, oh my God, this is like not, oh my God. Okay, hold on. Now I gotta reorganize that because it doesn't even work. I'm sorry I haven't had this angle the whole time. <laughs> I just, I don't know what's going on with me. I'm not thinking this morning, but anyway. Okay, this is the biggest mess because of the lipstick section, which is what I really will focus on clearing out, but I will probably get rid of these powders. I have a lot of powders. Actually, I feel like I just went through these and I got rid of a lot that I felt like I didn't need. I do have, I think this is a Gucci, like a, no, this is a Givenchy powder. And I literally have used it like three times when I kept it because it was like expensive and gifted. So I was like, let me keep this. I don't know. I don't know if I still need that, but I just feel like I should keep it for some reason. Okay, I already went through all of these powders actually. So I already know that I want to keep all of these, maybe except for this one. Okay, let's get rid of any of these bronzers. This bronzer is just not ever used. This Too Faced bronzer has got to go and it's definitely expired. This Laura Geller bronzer, 100% expired. And both of these Too Faced Chocolate Soule, I never use these. Like I think I've used these maybe two times. I don't know. This is the biggest struggle of life. I have so many lip products. It's a serious issue. So at one point these were organized. So like I had all the lipsticks on here and then all the pencils and like lip glosses up there. But now it just became like a huge disaster. So I'm gonna try and I'm gonna take all of these out and we're gonna reorganize again. This Huda Beauty liquid lipstick is the best like liquid lipstick I've ever had in my entire life but I've had this for like six years and that's probably disgusting to keep putting on your lips and I have one that's very similar now that I know I don't need this but I'm gonna let it go these are all red lipsticks in the back which I do like to keep because whenever I do want to do a red lip um, I can just reach into like a specific section so I'm gonna keep that part organized as like to how I like it everything else we're gonna redo so I'm gonna section off I'm gonna take all of these little mini Kylie lipsticks 
I kept all of these because they're like, you know, collectors, whatever. Um, but I think I need to take them out of this drawer at least and put them somewhere else if I'm gonna just keep them to like, just keep them for no reason. <gasps> oh my gosh. I just fit this little clear container in here. I had an extra and this is perfect. I'm going to put all of my lip liners in here because I feel like my lip liners and my glosses and all of that get so mixed up. So we're gonna do all the lip liners in there and then we can do all of these lipsticks in here. official drawer I know the powders like look a mess but that's the best I can do for right now I'm glad I got rid of bronzers but this lip section looks so much better it just like actually was looking a disaster before so I love that the last drawer that we have now is eyeshadow palettes so we are going to move all of these around I wish that I had drawers that like, fit exactly in here but it is what it is i'm gonna get rid of a bunch of eyeshadow palettes that i just have never used or are super old and just not worth it to keep in here anymore so of course i always keep all of the um kylie palettes like anytime i have a kylie palette i will keep i will keep it because i just love them so i'm thinking i should section these off by kylie palettes if that makes sense this peach palette was an og for the longest but it's time for it to go um this chocolate palette was also an og but time for it to go i remember two face palettes being bomb this one is the pumpkin one which i literally just got and i'm obsessed with this pumpkin one so i know i need to keep that but this one from candy johnson was really cute it like was supposed to look like a, a chocolate box so can you open it up let's put all of the kylie cosmetics palettes in here they're super cute i've got chill i feel like i have to keep this you guys this is the very first becca jacqueline hill collaboration this is the champagne pop pearl blush copper this is like the three highlight trio i don't know i just feel like i have to keep this but i'm gonna put it up here oh my gosh i have to keep my nicole guerrero this is the nicole guerrero collaboration she did with anastasia of course i'm keeping hers let's take out this little baby petite heat palette this one has just it's gotta go Here is the pile of stuff I got rid of. And oh, oh my gosh. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys what it all looks like now. I really didn't do anything to the top, so actually let's just skip that. But look at this foundation. We've got the blush. I love how all these little concealers look now. And we're gonna move on. Look at all of this. This highlight section, like this needs this needs major help. Like I need to fix that later on. But I just love that I cleared out so much space to put products I really love in here. I think the lipstick section is definitely my favorite because this just looks so much nicer, so much cleaner. Even the bronzer section, you can see how much more space I have. Um, yeah, and even all of these eyeshadows. Like, this looks so empty to me. Like, I could not see any of the bottom of these containers before and now i'm like oh my gosh i have so much space so i'm so happy about this and i'm just i feel good having all this cleaned out now i am going to get dressed and i'm gonna sit down and film my everyday makeup tutorial i think i have to edit a little igtv first and then i'm gonna do my makeup tutorial but i finally found a routine that i really really love so i'm just really happy to do this for you guys i'm also gonna share it on instagram and things like that because i've just got so many comments Compliments on how my makeup looks lately and it makes me happy because I always change up new things and I'm always trying to find what works best for me and I finally found it 
it. So I'm going to do my makeup. When I come back, I'm going to look like a whole new person. I'm going to be catfishing you guys. Well, hello, people. I told you I was going to catfish you all. Look at me. I'm a catfish. Um, what was I gonna say? Okay, I just finished my makeup tutorial. I just did all of my makeup. Why is the background so blown out right now? I'm not sure. But anyway, I have my laptop right here on its cute little tray and I'm just gonna sit here. I have a little IGTV to edit. It's not gonna take me too long, but I want to post it like right now. So I'm like, please edit this. You can upload it. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm getting a little bit hungry, even though I just had a bagel. Well, I didn't, I guess I didn't just have a bagel. I had a bagel like an hour and a half ago, maybe two hours ago. So I guess it's time for lunch. I wanna make something after I do this. So we're gonna do emails, work, edit, and then I'm gonna make something for lunch. Not sure what yet. Oh, I need to throw, I need to thaw salmon tonight because I want salmon for dinner. I really want so I'm gonna do that. Okay, let me stop talking so I can get to work. I just wanted to update you guys and tell you guys what I was doing. This is my lunch. Look how freaking bomb this looks. Like, I'm sorry guys, but this is fire. I also have this hummus right here and these, let me put you on really quickly. And if you've had them, then you freaking know that these are fire. They're sea salt and cracked pepper pretzels. They are so good. Like literally I got this bag like yesterday and I'm right here. Almost finished it, eating all of this hummus with it. It's so good. And then I've got some sriracha. I love sriracha on uh, like my chicken and rice and stuff. So that is what I have. And then I've got my little hydro flask so I can drink my water. So this is what I'm having for lunch right now. And it's just so good. It's so easy too. I just went to go get my mail and I had a package and I was gonna open it up. And then as I was, I was like, wait, you should open this on camera. Oh, oh my gosh. Wait, what? How did this get to me? This is, um, this is Dose and Co. I believe is the name of it. It is Khloe Kardashian's brand. This is so cute. I don't know how I got blessed with this PR, but this is so cute. Oh, wait. it literally says th this side up. I need to keep it this way. Oh, this is so cute. It says a note from Chloe. How cute is this? I've actually been wanting to try this out. It says, I'm excited to share with you some very special, something very special I've been working on. Ever since I discovered Dose & Co's range of premium collagen blends, I knew I wanted to be a part of this brand and help make the benefits of collagen available to more people. Collagen has become important. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited about this. And there's a bunch of recipes in here that I can make. There's hot chocolate, hot chocolate smoothie. There's acai bowls. I love collagen. You guys know I have it every single morning in my coffee. And now I have these. Also love the packaging of these. They're actually like these little cans. And this is pure collagen, unflavored collagen peptides. This one, I believe, I think the other two might be flavored. This is dairy-free collagen creamer, vanilla. This one, let's see. Collagen protein powder with chop. This is the chocolate flavor. <gasps> Guys, I'm so excited because I love like things like this, like collagen and stuff like that. Things that I can like mix in. This will be so good after workouts and stuff. And then I definitely will try one of these probably in my coffee. I'm curious as to what the collagen creamer is versus just pure collagen, but we'll see. I'll try some things out. Thank you guys for sending that. If anyone from their company is watching this. That's so cute. I'm gonna set these out on my counter. But editing my video took me so much longer than intended. So I've been sitting um, on my bed on my phone because I was editing it on my phone and it took me like an hour and a half to do that. So 
now that I'm done editing a video, I'm gonna film another video and I wanted to film my jewelry collection. Lots of you guys asked me if I can do an in-depth review of my jewelry collection, but I'm actually waiting on these rings to be delivered today and I really, really am hoping they get delivered soon because the sun is gonna go down and stuff, but I don't wanna film the jewelry collection video without these new rings because they're super cute and I'm excited about them. So depending on if they ever arrive today, I don't know if I'm gonna film that, but potentially. I have absolutely nothing to do and my jewelry's not getting delivered today, so I'm like, okay, so I can't film my other video today? What is happening? I'm gonna think of something. I already know tonight, and well, it's 4.50, so it's not even like I have that much of the day left, but I already know tonight I am gonna take a bath and do a face mask, which I'm very excited about just because I just really wanna take a bath and wash all this makeup off, but I'm gonna brainstorm for a minute and I'll get back to you guys when I can think of something actually interesting to do. I've decided that I'm gonna watch TikTok until my phone dies because it's 5%. <laughs> I have nothing to do you today, guys. Like seriously, I'm so freaking bored. And I'm so bored. Why, I, I'm stretching right now, but I'm so freaking bored. And I'm so bored to the point where like, I just have no motivation to cook dinner. And I don't know if I should order dinner. I really want like a, a s'more. Does anyone follow that Disney Parks account on TikTok? And they like show how they make the Disney food, like the treats at Disney. They show how to make like caramel apples and like all of this stuff. Well, they just posted one and I just saw it on TikTok and it was how to make their s'mores. And I want that so freaking bad. But I don't know where... I don't know where I could get like a dessert like that here or where I could order food from. I need to be better about spending my money on food and stuff like that. I can make chicken. No, shut up. No, not chicken. <laughs> I can make salmon and rice and veggies, which I had chicken rice and veggies for lunch the past two days. So I don't want that. I can have salmon, rice and veggies, or I could have turkey tacos. Let's look on Postmates and see what I can <laughs> post me. This angle is so ugly. Like, I don't know what to do about my chin. Like, I hate the way that looks. I'm gonna scroll on Uber Eats and Postmates and I'm gonna see what it is that I think I should order. Oh my gosh, Popeyes. Does Popeyes have dessert? They only have a cinnamon apple pie. It's not the vibe, people. I found a s'more place that I can order from. It's called Toasted Mallow, and it has all kinds of s'mores that you can order, and there's a Cookie Monster one. That's what it's called. It's a vanilla bean marshmallow toasted in a graham cracker bowl with chocolate and snug between two chocolate chip cookies topped with toasted marshmallows. <laughs> I'm getting that. This is how I know like my period is probably coming because I always eat like this right before my period. Like I just want to eat like so much junk. This is a weird combo, but I'm thinking I'm going to do ramen. Like I'm going to order ramen noodles <laughs> and from like a really nice place and eat the ramen and then have a s'more for dessert. Weird combo, but I think that's the vibe. Okay. This is what I ended up getting for dinner because I'm lazy. I have ramen, so I'm gonna pour the broth in here, but it looks so good. And then I also got some dumplings. And for dessert, I didn't get to post meats the s'mores because they were too far, so I got Cold Stone. I'm putting it in the freezer for now while I eat, but I got like this cake batter, brownie, sprinkle thing. I don't know, I just, it looked good. So, oh God, okay, yeah. So that is staying in the freezer. And we're gonna have the dinner and I'm watching a Jersey Shore. I'm watching Jersey Shore for the first time ever. Maybe I should do like a little muk, a mukbang for you guys. Like maybe I should set you guys up and talk in this. So as I was saying, I'm watching Jersey Shore for the first time. I've never seen like any of the episodes fully at all. I've seen clips and like with TikTok and stuff, I feel like there's like a huge side of TikTok that has all these Jersey Shore clips. And I was watching them and I was like, that's a show I've never watched. Like I've seen the clips and I know the people obviously, but 
I didn't know any of their relations to each other. I know nothing about their lives. So I just felt like it was something I could start and have no clue. And it's so crazy to watch. Even just like this era that this was filmed in and the drama, it's just like so real. It's just really crazy, I don't know. I'm not mad at that. There is a egg in here, which I'm excited about, but I think I should break it because I want like bites of it, you know? Wait, is that the yolk? I thought it was supposed to be like, sorry, I'm not a huge ramen person, so I don't really know. Okay. The yolk has a very interesting texture. I don't know if I like that. I didn't like drinking that. <laughs> Let's try a dumpling. Maybe a dumpling will be really good. I'm so happy I didn't cook tonight, honestly. I know that was like a thing that I said I was gonna do, but this is fire. This is a good like ramen place. Like this is good, I was kind of nervous, but it's Saturday. So, you know, I did as much work as I could. I filmed this morning and I did TikToks, I did reels, all that kind of stuff today. So I still feel good about myself, even though I'm not making my dinner. It's a Saturday, I got my Postmates life going. I do this thing where I make eye contact with you guys while I'm taking a bite of food. It's like, I want to see if I look normal while I'm biting it, but when I do that, I'm looking directly into the camera. It's kind of creepy, I'm not gonna lie. Like I don't like, I don't like the way it looks when I go back and edit it, but I am going to finish this ramen and these dumplings and watch Jersey Shore and I will get back to you.